guys. Well, I'm out in the shop today and I'm just running some parts. And a lot of times I get questions about my flood coolant. Uh, how often do I change my filters? How's the flood coolant uh, working? That kind of, uh, those kind of questions. Well, the flood coolant's working great. If you want to refer back to that video where I did the flood coolant upgrade, I'll try to put a link in the video description for you to uh, refer back to that video. But today I was out here running some parts and I'm at the point now where I need to change my flood coolant filter. Those of you who will recall, I put in these gauges here to let me know what my pressure is before my filter and what the pressure is after the filter. And this kind of will help me gauge when I need to change this filter. Uh, is this necessary? Not really. Um, you can kind of judge just by the flow of what the flood coolant is doing. Right now, I'm at the point where I need to change my flood coolant. Let me turn it on here and I'll show you. You can see that it, it's, it's, it is flowing. However, after the machine runs for a few minutes, it'll kind of want to die down. It just kind of loses its uh, pressure. And if you go over here, you can see that I've got about uh, six or seven PSI before the filter, and after the filter, uh, nothing. I'm just, it's just dead. So, you can see it's not really even reaching the tool right there. So I know I'm at the point where I just really need to go ahead and change my filter. So how often do I actually have to change my filters? Well, it really just depends on how much I'm running, type of uh, parts I'm running. So me personally, it lasts about three months and then I have to change it out three to four months. So uh, three to four times a year is about how often I need to change my coolant filter. There we go. Let me get a bucket here and I'm going to take this filter off and we'll see. I'm going to let this pressure kind of die down and uh, we'll take this and get it changed. Alright, now there's this little button here on top. You can press that and kind of release any pressure you've got built up in there. Then I just take a strap wrench, break this loose. I've already done that, of course. Try not to spill this when I take this out. But I've got a bucket under here just in case. Alright, you can see it kind of makes a mess. Let's take a look. Let me move this over here. And we'll take a look at this filter. Oh, I can dump this coolant back in here. All right. So nothing really gets down inside here. It all kind of just gets hung on this filter. And you can see that this filter still has a good bit of coolant in there. So I'll let that drain out in the bucket, but. So that I can go ahead and keep running parts, I'm going to go ahead and change to a new filter. Uh, this is what the filters look like when I get them. This is a 5 micron. And you can see what they look like after they've been in there two or three months. Okay. I've got the filter changed out. You can see it's all nice and clean now. Now, I've also got these valves on here that I crack. This is wide open right now, but I'll have to turn it down to probably like that because the pressure is going to be really good uh, once we change this filter out. So let me show you that now. Uh, so you can see the sediment built up here on the filter. Sometimes you can just wipe this off and keep using this filter, but they're not that expensive, and so I just go ahead and take them off and change them. 
This one's been in here about uh, four months or so. I'll I let it sit there in the bucket so I can get all the get all the uh, coolant out of it and let it dry and then just toss them away. All right, so let me show you uh, with flood coolant once the filters change. Now let me just in case we get some splash. That glass is pretty uh, dirty right there. Now you can see quite a bit more coolant flow there. Quite a bit more coolant flow there. And you can see our pressure. Now, if I crank the valve all the way up, <coughs> uh, there's a really a lot more flow there. But I use this valve to kind of regulate it. I keep it about like that, and that seems to work really well uh, for the flood coolant. Sorry about all the mess. I was kind of in the middle of uh, running some parts and I just realized I needed to change that out. And I get a bunch of questions about flood coolant. How often do I change my filters? How it's working? Uh, I really love the flood coolant. Now, when I went over to the ATC, I, I switched over to this flood coolant tube. Uh, flood coolant tube works really well. It gives me uh, four nozzles, as you can see. Plenty of uh, coolant flow there. Uh, the coolant rings, they work well. I originally had, however, they just don't work with the uh, ATC. The ATC just, there's not enough room there to get everything in there. So, my, my buddy Wyatt, he came up with this coolant tube, uh, which works really well. If you're interested in one of these, uh, they are available on the website. And, uh, guys, I guess that's it. I'm going to get back to uh, uh, running these parts. Just wanted to give you an update on how often I change my filters and uh, what they look like when I pull them out. You can see there's just, just a lot of crud on there. Real fine sediment. And getting that fine sediment out gives you really clean parts, uh, nice and shiny. Guys, thanks for watching the video. If you're new to my channel and you're just tuning in, you can click on that subscribe button down here below. Also, click on that notification bell. That way, when I post a new video, if it's something you're interested in like this, they'll send you a link and you can stop by and check it out. As always, please feel free to ask questions, make suggestions, or leave comments. Thanks for watching the video. Thumbs up if you like the video, and most importantly, be safe.